get slow, you can still go Even when there's no hope, you can still go I never ran to the no man, I still go Go, go Demarcus A. Aaron, look trail. You know what I'm saying? We out here on the block and shit. You know what I'm saying? They I can't shit. even see what you're saying. What are you saying? You know what I'm saying? We out here doing this shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> God damn it, Demarcus. This shit, here, is that got, the beam? We got the BMW. Is that shit, the beam, you know Demarcus? Saying? I've been putting in work out here. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> doing this shit. Hey, yo, CJ. <laughs> CJ from Grove. You know what I'm saying? Grove Street. Yes, sir. After five years on the road, it's time Dude, to come right, on. <laughs> All right, yeah, let's head. We're heading to my dad's. <laughs> All right, everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today is freaking exciting. We are going to be working on the Mustang. Um, basically, I want to try something out with messing with the bypass valve so that we can get some noise out of it because it's too quiet and uh, the bypass valve is recirculated. So I want to unrecirculate it <laughs> and uh, basically uh, blow off into atmosphere. You know what I mean? If that makes sense. So I need to um, basically go to the hardware store, get some piping and uh, basically like a blocker, uh, proper term, a cap, you know, something like that so that we can block off the intake side. And then I want to, you know, like I said, relocate the bypass valve so that we can get some noise out of the Mustang. So that's kind of what my intention is for today's video. Also, I got my brother, um, as you've seen in the beginning of the video. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, that boy's crazy. He done got dreads. I don't, I don't understand. But uh, yeah, that's uh, his new uh, E93 335i. And uh, yeah, so I'll basically once we pull up at my pop's house, uh, we're gonna be doing basically the same thing to him. We're doing the two dollar bar stool mod on the 335. So we're gonna go get some bar stool ends and then cap them off, and so that basically also his blow off valve is not gonna be re recirculating back into the um, back into the intake. So that's the gist of the video today. We're gonna be making both of our cars go whoosh, or his will be more of a tsh, and I'm hoping mine whooshes, but point is that we're trying to get some noise out of our cars and then uh, and I'll give you guys the walk around his car we did pass smog on it since we bought it um, and so that now we can start doing some random mods to it we also got the top to work because when we bought it it was missing the switch so yeah so we're just gonna start doing some stuff to it we also towards the end of this video just maybe uh, depending on how things go we might pull up my boy Renee's with the i8 and my brother's gonna be throwing down his first time attempt to wrap a hood renee's been kind of coaching him up like he coached me and uh hopefully all three of us can you know knock some shit out and be rapping um rapping cars you know me is more of a side hustle and for fun renee does that as his profession my brother really wants to learn how to do it and learn how to you know rap and you know also my brother does detailing so I also got to show him the Mustang so that he can, uh, he hasn't been in it yet or seen it. So, uh, yeah. So stay tuned, you guys. Let's get into today's video. Yo! All right. So this is the E93. Got the Nietzsche two-piece wheels. Is it open? So it's pretty damn clean in here. So, aftermarket radio, clean drop top. So, anyways, we're over here at the Mustang right now. And we're going to be. Hold on. So, basically, we're going to be trying to pull off the, um, the blow off valve right now. So I can get the right sizes. I want this thing to go. Whoosh. <laughs> I'm 
not sure if it will, but hopefully. Okay. Yeah, that's loose. That's loose. So, let me see if I can make this looser than this stuff be tight. Okay. There we go. Alright, so I got it off. The fucking garbage guy came in. All kinds of noise. I had to move my car. Anyways, this is the uh, factory bypass valve for the uh, Vortex system. So now that I got that off, I'm gonna go in there. Go to we're gonna go to the hardware store, try to find some piping, tubing, so that we can relocate this. And then I gotta find something that we can plug that's gonna be around the same size. I think it's about an inch. So, and which is gonna be similar to the bar stools that we're gonna use on that side. So I'm hoping that by buying the bar stool ends for the 335, I should be able to clamp them as well on the on the intake side on this so we'll see i don't have to buy some hose clamps so stay tuned so right now uh, put the bolts right here on the side yeah right now i'm having my brother removing his cowling so that we can get to the rear diverter valve it's in the back right here we got the front one's easy to get to but the rear is a pain so he has to remove all this cowling, which most people just remove and leave off, but he intends to keep putting it back on. So that's up to him. So I'm having him learn how to remove it. And so he'll have to be the one to put it back on. It's not too, not too difficult, but yeah. This is, it's clean, N54, nothing too major. You guys have seen these on the channel a bunch, but today we are doing the Barstolan mod, $2 mod. I think it went up to $4 now, but super easy it's going to give the whoosh sound once we take this off i'll have him start the car and rev it real quick so you guys can hear the sound that it makes now and then we'll do a comparison to when it's done so all right don't pull it too hard because you got to realize these are still connected and you don't want to break those tabs so i gotta unbolt those two you gotta unbolt those two or you can leave them connected if you're if you feel confident how do i so, I want to say those are uh, like a 15 or a 20. Is it 20? Yeah. Could be a 20, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 20. So, yeah. So, see, now he's currently removed the whole cowling. So, now we can expose this rear diverter valve, which is right there. So, basically, I'm going to come over here and you literally just doesn't pull off you squeeze this and spin it let's so see you spin it this way which way does it go spin it to the back so you want to spin that like that and it just should just pull up there we go that's one diverter valve then we come to the back one we gotta spin it as well. Let's see, where's the divot? Trying to see, I can't see it, so. There we go. Spin it that way, pull it off. Reroute the diverter valve this way. That's how I do it, so you can hear it. Everybody does it their own way though. All right, so now we're gonna put the bar stool ends on. Oh, yes, let's do the uh, before and after right now. So here. Huh? All right, so he's gonna start his car now. All right. So just rev it. Rev it, like rev it. One more time. All right, that's it. Turn it off. So basically, you didn't hear anything. So now let me do the super easy two-dollar barstool mod. Here you go. Right here. So now we're gonna pull that off. Okay. Oh, that was just before. Yeah. So now we're gonna put this goes right on over, just like that. We're gonna come to the back one. We're gonna pull this off. Run it upwards, block it off, 
Okay, now he's gonna start the car and we're gonna do it again. And we're supposed to hear some noise now. Let's see if we hear some noise. Let's see. Let's hear you blow off. Woo! Do it again. Woo! One more time. Two bucks, gotta blow off. <laughs> see that smile. Yes, yeah. sir, we out here. All right, well now we gotta hope that when we do it on the Mustang, it's gonna sound like that too. <laughs> so now we gotta basically reassemble what he just took apart and um, and that's it. His car's done for now until we redo the, we're gonna be doing his intake filters as well. We're gonna be adding that mod here shortly. I don't know if it's gonna be in this video or not, but we are gonna be doing that next. And then shortly he'll be getting tuned and going on E85 as well. So how are you liking it? How does it sound? Sick. Was it worth the two bucks? Definitely. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, so. All right, let's put it back together. He's gonna take it for a little spin now to see if he can hear the blow off while he's driving. Should be able to, puts it in shift mode. Guy's still learning, my little brother. He's learning, he'll get there. I don't think he understands really what to do. I wanted him in shift mode so he could boost, but he probably thinks he has to shift for it to blow off. Yeah, he doesn't know what to do. <laughs> he doesn't know what to do. Goober. Oh well. Probably should have told him. He'll figure it out. There he comes. Yeah, that's good enough. <laughs> now we gotta do the Mustangs. All right, so basically what I've done so far is I pulled off the return, the return uh, line from the bypass valve and I capped it off right here. Can you even see it on the video? So it's right here and I capped it, tightened it. And then, uh, so here's the bypass valve itself. And so basically um, this is where it's gonna vent into atmosphere. So um, basically gonna run from underneath here. I'm gonna be running a tube, you know, and just relocating it without connecting it. So my hands are kind of dirty, so my brother's able to hold the camera. But yeah, you can see where I located, relocated the bypass valve. And it's just going to be open to shoot out right there. So now I just need to put back together the intake and then turn it on and see if it works. <laughs> so now I'm putting the intake back together. It's not too difficult. You just got to kind of finesse it. This has to get propped in. literally don't have to follow my hands while I grab a screwdriver. That's what I'm trying to say, like you do it Ella extra. <laughs> a lot of people do videos like that where they're hella extra and this shit, people just get annoyed. Like all that will just end up getting edited out. Edited out there and shit. I'm just trying to teach you, bro. So here giving you dynamic camera angles. Fits right there. Okay, so now we're gonna tighten some of that. We should do like time lapses. Yeah, I do time lapse videos too, and find good music and shit. But it'll be like working on shit. Yeah, I got videos like that, and driving. And the problem with time lapse is it goes a little too fast sometimes. So the way you want to do it is not time lapse on the GoPro. 
you want to just record regularly and waste all your battery and then speed it up on the actual video yeah and that's when you get the little noise look you can hear everything i found that out yeah. well, there's a gopro time lapse way too fast fuck it's like yeah like it, that's like if you're gives recording you a headache day. yeah it gives you a headache it's like if you're recording the sunset Are you just recording all this? Yeah. Just wasting my battery. You want some time left for it, dude. Okay, so I got it all put back together. Everything's ready to go. I'm gonna drop the jack down and I'm gonna go ahead and start the car up. Let me wash my hands real quick. Stupid motherfucker, I swear. My brother with his angles, dude. Some dynamic hand washing. Jesus. Oh, Kung Fu Master. See if it starts now. Plug in the battery. So the goal here is to get the same whooshing sound. I didn't do it before and after, but oh well. <laughs> And the reason why I didn't do the before and after is because I already had removed the, the bypass valve before I even went to go buy all the parts and do everything. So you can go in the video of the reveal and it shows when I pull up and I rev it, you don't hear anything. You just hear engine noise. So if we hear anything more than engine noise, we did something.
having some issues with the Mustang. It's having a lot of breakup. So, watch. When I try to get on it, it bogs, then it goes. It's pulling through the RPM band, but it's not, it's not with full power. So, as you've seen in my other video, the last, this is last video, I have me doing the same pull right here. This is not doing the same thing. It's not. So, I know that the what I did unrecirculating the 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 bypass valve that's not gonna cause this issue. So I'm wondering if it's just from it sitting or or something's going bad. I don't know. Like I said, it was belt slip. So we'll try to. that the boost isn't you know right there that makes sense uh you know especially since we're manual it doesn't have consistent boost and i don't have a boost gauge to watch that's the only thing i can think of but it just feels like it's dogging so when you have your mom doesn't ever stop calling you We got to start by obviously putting it back to the way it was. But I, I highly, highly, highly doubt that that has anything to do with what's going on here. Unless the, um, unless the, the boost hose came off. We're having a boost leak. So we definitely broke something and I have no idea what it is. Uh oh. So we're going to try to get home. Something made a loud bang. So, I have no idea. Something broke. But it's driving. So, and it's idling. I have no idea what the fuck broke. There's no way something didn't break. Yeah, that shit was loud. Okay, well, the car's on, so let's check everything. It's only something on this side. Okay. 
Oh, well, since I'm right here, I can push it right back. If I give it gas and go forward, see what it neighborhood. Where do you go? Oh my god. This fucking guy. Jesus Christ. Got me out here walking and shit. It's too hot for all this shit. God damn it. Man, the dreadlocks though? Man. The do rag? Oh shit. Hell no. I'll be looking like a pirate. Jack Sparrow. Oh shit, here he comes. Something's uh, leaking out here. Some fresh oil or something. Huh? Some oil or something. Like tons of it? No. Oh, that's normal. Yeah. Yeah, it leaks. All right, that looks like it's gonna do it for today's video. Man, that's kind of frustrating. The Mustang acting up right now, but uh, I don't know. Like I said, there's some electrical issues we got to address, and the diverter valve thing it, or bypass valve it worked, so that's good. So I mean, but we'll see how what's going on. It's one of those things. But anyways, that's today's video. So uh, please like, comment, and subscribe if you're not already, and uh, I'll see you guys on the next one. So let's go. You.